So I just thought I would catch you all up. Poncho's coming in here. Hey, Poncho. Yeah, Poncho says hi. So my room is a complete disaster. Hey, don't laugh at it. It works. Also, rest in peace. So I've got stuff all over the place where it does not belong. I still love my color, color chart. And all my pastels. I miss you. Hi! I've been busy working on a drawing course that I'm going to be offering in April. You can pre-enroll now, though. But I got to thinking about the books that I have. I don't, I don't have a lot of books in my household, art books, that is, in my ho household this, these days because um, I either get them in ebook format or I go to the public library. But I, these I have kept. These I have wanted to keep, a hard copy. And the first one is art class. This is great if you're a beginner or if you just need a refresh on the basics. There's some, some beautiful work in here. This is one of my favorites. It's in there. I love these brush marks. But it's called Art Class, A Complete Guide to Painting. And I, I don't even know if this is still in print anymore because I've had this for so long. I think this came out probably in the 90s. It's put out by Chronicle Books. Yeah, it came out, it, the copyright is 1999 on this. This is another one that's older, but visually, it is just so, mm, it's just wonderful. There's just so much to, to look at in it. It's just, I'm trying to make sure I'm in frame. But I love looking at other artists, art studios and it's different sorts of art. It's not just uh, painting or drawing. There's fiber artist in here. The next is this one, Lessons in Classical Painting. I have every single one of her books. She's, she's just an amazing, I love how she teaches things. The way that she brings material together. That's a sergeant, by the way. But there's, I mean, you can see I have all these tabs in here. Some of these I can't show on YouTube because there are some nudes in here. What you would think of were very basic. Subject matter are just presented beautifully. It's just, I love this one. This one was given to me by a friend and I've read it a couple of times. It's just, it's not a, a long read. It's about, obviously, it's about the, about getting over the fear of creating because it can be very intimidating to put yourself into this piece of work and then put it out into the world. Or even if you don't put it out in the world, it's still, it's still scary sometimes. And this, this was really good. Uh, Daniel Green was a pastel artist and oil. He did a lot of figure work, some earlier work. It covers the studios that he had, obviously, because it's called Studios, and yeah. But I really like this one. It's just, it's full of eye candy. One magazine I've been drawn to over the last few years is Where Women Create. This, but I've discovered my state library has this on the system digitally. This, this is like, um, this is like dessert. <laughs> I love this. There's just so much in there. And it's something you can read a little bit and come back to. 
you know, it's got things that are, you know, whimsical and fun and just kind of spur your creativity a little bit. But I like it. But anyway, so there's that. Business-wise, these days I tend to turn to Rafi. And I'm not affiliated with any of these authors or publishers or anything. Um, Rafi has a YouTube channel that is that I love. He and his wife have a, a joint studio, and his wife does jewelry work and music. And he writes and does fine art. But it's these are so, I have these because I've got this one too. This one was a, was a Kickstarter. That's why it's in black and white. Then I've got a third one that's handling money. And it's sort of like you're sitting down with a friend and you're just having a conversation about your work and what direction you want to go and... How do you handle the next step? What do you what what are you supposed to be doing? He doesn't give you like point A to point B. He's like a support system, I would say. So I would highly recommend these. And that's all I've got for you. So I hope you enjoyed those few books. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. Take care and be safe.